Well, this, this book, what this book does is uh, it sort of tells a narrative history. So it's sort of a story. I mean, there's, there are a couple ways to sort of say who we are. Let's say someone new comes in the church, who we are. One, we give them a list. Here's our doctrines. Uh, another way is say, here's our history. This is who we are. Uh, anyone who's got married understands it's not just a belief of the person, it's, it's their life, where, where they come from, what their parents, what they do at Thanksgiving, what they do at Christmas. And this book is that. It's been a really exciting process to let the history of the church speak to us as we wrote this book over the last 18 months. Um, uh, we've made some great friends from the past, people who have helped shape the movement of the church, people like the early missionaries to Sierra Leone who packed their belongings not in a barrel, but in their own coffins when they made the transatlantic voyage. People like the uh, uh, early Pilgrim Holiness entrepreneurs who did what had to be done to reach the lost. It's a narrative history sort of telling, uh, hey, here's who Wesleyans are. Here's, here's, here are the streams that kind of flow into the present uh, that uh, sort of describe, well, that's why they do this. That's why they think this. Oh, that's why they ordain women. Oh, now I see. And so that's what this book is. It's kind of this narrative story of who Wesleyans are. It's been exciting to, to become uh, more acquainted with, uh, with who we were so that we can know who we are and who we want to be in the future. Yesterday's church is speaking to today's church about tomorrow and uh, the message that they bring to us is really critically important.